Welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel. In this video, we will consider the concept of time response of second order systems. Before we actually take up the concept, there are few terminologies which we must be aware of. So we will uh, try to understand those uh, terminologies in this video. Uh, well, to begin with, every practical system takes finite time to reach to its steady state. So I'll repeat the sentence. Every practical system takes finite time to reach to its steady state. And during this period, it oscillates or increases exponentially. And every system has a tendency to oppose. Every system has a tendency to oppose. What does it oppose? The oscillations. Every system has a tendency to oppose to, uh, to oppose the oscillatory behavior of the system and this is called as damping and we are interested in this terminology damping so what is damping every system has a tendency to oppose the oscillatory behavior of the system which is called as damping and this damping, this damping is measured by a factor or ratio called as damping ratio. This is known as damping ratio. So what is damping ratio? The damping is measured by a factor or a ratio called as damping ratio. This, this factor explains how much dominant the opposition from the system to the oscillations in the output. Getting it? This damping ratio explains how much dominant the opposition from the system to the oscillations in the output. So, what, what, uh, how do we measure this? Damping ratio is denoted. So, how do we denote this? Damping ratio is denoted by a Greek symbol. Damping ratio is measured by a Greek symbol. What is that Greek symbol? We call it as zeta. And we denote it this way. This is called as zeta. And uh, what is the importance of that? As this measure the position by the system to the oscillatory behavior. Zeta is nothing but the opposition. If zeta is made, if zeta is made zero, what do you mean by that? If zeta is made zero, then there is no opposition. The system oscillates with maximum frequency. If zeta is made zero, that means no opposition. Zeta is made zero, then there is no opposition. So that system oscillates with maximum frequency. As there is no opposition from the system, it oscillates naturally and freely. Hence, this frequency of oscillations under zeta equal to zero condition, under zeta equal to zero condition is known as natural frequency, is known as natural frequency. So this is again uh, an important terminology, it is known as the natural frequency and uh, is denoted by omega n unit is radians per second. So these are the important terminologies which we are interested in. So let me repeat it. The very first concept is damping. What do you mean by damping? Every practical system takes some finite time to reach to its steady state. During this period, the system oscillates and every system has a tendency to oppose this oscillation of the system, which is nothing but damping. And this damping is measured by a factor or a ratio known as the damping ratio. Then how do we denote this? We denote this using a Greek symbol, which is called as zeta. If zeta is made zero, then there is no opposition at all. The system can oscillate freely and it can oscillate naturally. This kind of uh, oscillation is known as 
natural oscillation uh, natural frequency and that is denoted by omega and radians per second so these are the terminologies which i wanted to explain in this video so once we understand these terminologies uh, we are ready to study the unit step response of second order system so that we shall say it on to next video thanks for watching